checking out one of our DIY high pressure arrow kits here by Multiponics. So be sure and check out some more of our videos. Check out our website, multiponics.com. And what we're going to do here, this is our DIY H-Pack number two. It comes with all the stoppers, all the sprayer heads, all the tubing, the step drill bit, the filter assembly, everything you need to convert any old dead equipment into a high pressure arrow setup. So these are some old gutters that had a low pressure arrow, the, the Arrow Squirt 2000 as we call it. Uh, but we're going to convert this thing and bring it back to life. So the first thing we'll do is grab the drill bit. It's a high quality step drill bit that's designed just for this kind of work. Just put it into a cordless drill, works great. And what we're going to do is set up, you can see we already have one drilled here. We're going to go ahead and drill another one into this section right here. And we're putting on directional angle sprayer heads. So once you put that down inside there, you can either shoot against the wall to get a nice reflected spray, or you can aim it down here to get a, a directional spray down the gutter. Now the most important thing is when you're drilling out these holes, make sure that you use a little bit of caution. As you can see, the drilled bit is bigger than the stopper, so don't drill too far. So drill in a little bit. We'll go ahead and get a spot here. And we'll stop and check, and obviously it's not, not quite big enough yet. And there we go, that's about perfect. So we have one that's already made up here with the directional spray head and the stopper. Go ahead and drop that in. We're going to set this one to spray against the wall. Push that one into place. And then your kit is going to come with T's, the quick connect T's and an elbow. So we'll put one of these T's on here. And with your 30 feet of tubing, you're just going to plug that in right there. Around the other side, either to your other sprayer heads or back to your pump. And then out of the pump, you're going to run a piece of tubing back to the filter. The filter's real easy to clean, so there's no reason you can't clean it, you know, once a week is about right. And it has quick connect fittings on it as well. So you'd run one stopper, or run one tube over to your stoppers, run another hose back over into your reservoir, and that's where your filter will sit. So be sure and check out some more of our videos at multiponics.com and all over YouTube. Check out our DIY high pressure arrow kits.